Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial on Teal Street. So as you guys are aware, uh, Teal Street has become my main trading platform for pretty much all of my trading activity. I have all of my main exchanges connected up onto there and it's just lovely to have everything in one place uh, so that you don't have to keep on switching between different web tabs, logging in, doing a two-factor authentication, having different UIs to navigate, having different order execution types to navigate. It's just um, nice to have everything clean, simple, in one place. Everything looks the same. And it just makes such a big difference to my own personal trading style. So it's something that I would definitely recommend. Obviously, there are other alternatives out there. Um, you've got the likes of Insilico, Vermitrader, uh, Quantower that can do similar things. But Teal Street for myself has become my favorite, especially since a lot of the new updates that have been released. So I'm going to do this, this uh, tutorial in four parts, basically. So the first part, we're just going to go over the features of the uh, interface itself and the features of Teal Street itself. We're going to then go over how to create API keys and how to connect your exchanges. We're then going to look at the order types, how to execute trades on there, the different types of trades that you can execute. And then finally, we'll do a, something a little bit more advanced, how to customize your workflow on here, how to customize your templates, how to do hotkeys and so on. This is the really nice thing about Teal Street. Okay, it, it's multi uh, exchange. Um, supported i guess so we've got bybit we've got bitget we've got binance we've got mexi femex okx and actually this says coming soon but bingx has just been integrated as well which is very useful because that is another exchange that i do use unique features on this as well so you can have this as if we go scroll down and i'll actually just show you the the three main ways that you can trade from this. It does have a mobile web app um, coming soon. Uh, so the mobile app will be will be there in the near future, which again will be really, really nice because it, it will uh, reduce the need to keep on switching between different exchange apps on your mobile phone. And you, once again, can just have everything there in one place. But at the moment, okay, you have Teal Street on the web. So if you open up your trading terminal here, then you'll see that it will give you just the, the standard view um, on a web tab, which is very nice. Uh, but the one that I personally use is the desktop app. So I use the Windows uh, desktop app for this. It's available on Mac, it's available on Mac M1, and it's available on Linux. Having something as a desktop app is just so useful because I don't know if you're like me, but I often have like 20 tabs open um, you've got exchanges you've got social media you've got various web pages you've got youtube you've got all of these different tabs open so to have to navigate um, where you're actually trading from can get a bit complicated so lovely to have that desktop app and that is the one that i personally use the other good thing about this is, although I am doing this as a video tutorial, we will keep it fairly short, each of these. But if you need any further information, they've got a really in-depth, um, very, very nice uh, documentation section on their website. So it can tell you all about how to create um, your APIs. The other thing that is really good is they do have a video on their own YouTube channel. So if you go onto YouTube and search for Teal Street or search Teal Street tutorial, then this will be the top one that comes up. It's an hour and a half long video. It goes into a lot of detail about the platform and it is a year old. So there's a few features that are slightly out of date. Uh, but again, I would thoroughly recommend giving that one a watch. So if we make our way back over to the website here and we click on the trade tab, then that will give you the login view and you can register a new account there. I'll just show you here, this is what you'll see once you have registered, okay? Um, it says not logged in here, but you also get these sections blanked out if you have not yet connected your API. So as soon as you've created an account, you'll see a page that looks a little bit like this. Uh, the You also have these tabs up at the top that give you the direct link to the desktop app. And you also have this tour. The tour will pop up as standard when you start this. But if it doesn't, you can just uh, click on the tab at the top there and this will give you all of the important information about the interface itself. You can just close that down at any time and then if you need to bring it back up, then just click on the tour tab.
Of course, the other great thing about Teal Street is that it does have ExoCharts integration. So if you do go onto ExoCharts and you want to trade on it direct from there, then you can click add a new tab. You can go to your web, click on Teal Street, and that will bring up the Teal Street terminal for you. Once again, I'm not logged in on here, but it's exactly the same as what you'll see on the web. And if you bring it up to a full view, then you can see everything is right there in the same way it is, as it is. Obviously a little bit different on the, on the layouts, but easy enough to move all of this around. So then over we go onto the desktop app, which is, like I say, the one that I personally use. So the first thing that you're gonna to need to do, you can see that this is all connected um, to OKX that I have this connected to right now. Uh, but if you want to connect an API key, then you very simply just click on the API. And what you want to do is you want to search down on the list of uh, different trading platforms that they have available. Now, some of these are very simple to set up. For example, Bybit is relatively straightforward. You go over onto there um, and everything's straightforward once you go onto the exchange. Whereas others, I've noticed this on Femex and on uh, BingX in particular, what you're going to need to do when you go over and create your API key is you will need to edit a few settings first. Okay, so you're gonna to need to make sure that when you go over onto the exchange, I'll just bring up a view of this in a moment. You're gonna to need to make sure that all the permissions are set. Uh, they do not set as default, unlike some of these other exchanges. So on BingX and on Femex in particular, you're going to need to make sure that you've got all your read write permissions correct and you're going to need to whitelist IPs uh, otherwise it won't let you connect to the exchange so on BingX for example you have the option to allow all IP addresses to access the API but uh, Teal Street will not allow you to connect the exchange because that is a security risk for yourself so what you'll need to do is just connect um, this just to make sure that you uh, whitelist any of the APIs here. So let me just have a look quickly on the Bing X platform and I'll show you. So flipping back over here onto web, you can see that I have Bing X loaded. I have my uh, Teal Street account here. And if you go to create new IP, uh, API, then you can go Teal Street True. You can go to next. You'll get your security stuff um, here. So I will quickly do that. And then once you have inputted your two-factor authentication, it will bring you up with this little tab. Now, I am not going to create this because you can see my secret key, which is very, very dangerous. Um, but what you'll need to make sure you are doing is click on the edit here. You'll need to have spot trading, um, perpetual futures. Well, actually, you only really need to have this perpetual futures trading uh, turned on. But I just always will just click everything um, that you need to click because is trusted we do trust this platform um, they're not going to start transferring and doing weird stuff and also what you'll need to do is click restrict access to trusted ips only recommended and then you'll have to go back over onto teal street you copy in where's my tab you copy in these ips okay copy to clipboard uh, go back over onto your web browser paste these in and then add and then you can save your API. So once you have connected your APIs, then you'll see them in this list here. You can go click back onto the trade tab. And then if you just go onto the top bar up here and click here where it says, well, API keys, obviously, um, then you'll see all of your different connected exchanges. So for myself, I have BingX, OKX, and Bybit currently connected on this uh, terminal. And it really is as simple as that. Once your APIs are connected, then you can trade every single account you have, switch between them um, from this one space. And uh, yeah, it's a very nice way just to flick through accounts and um, be able to manage all your different accounts in one space with the same order execution types on everything. So that concludes part one, nice and easy. Uh, in the second part of this series, we will actually start to go over how you can take trades on here, the different types of order executions, the um, different ways that you can place orders, that you can take profit, that you can set your stop losses and uh, how to customize your layout. So yeah, thank you for watching and make sure you watch the next one. Cheers.